watching David Graham's Sports Report. I'm watching what? David Graham's Sports Report. Okay. What are you guys watching? You watching? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we all know that the diner has fantastic food. We know it's always hot, fresh, and fast to your table every day. But did you know that the diner offers cupcake of the day? Next time you visit the diner on Jack's Bowl Pike, be sure to ask for not only the luncheon special, but ask for the cupcake of the day. That's only at the diner on Jack's Bowl Pike, home of great food, great people, and great service. Well, folks, it looks like we made it into 2013 in spite of the Mayan calendar ending in 2012. So since we're still here, we thought we'd take a look at what's coming up for our local teams. Happy New Year, first of all. I hope everyone had a great holiday, and we're all ready to get back to work here at the Sports Report. Up first, the fall in middle school is at Oneida, Thursday, January the 3rd. The Owls are good, but they're young. They have beaten some teams this year that you might not have expected them to. So it should be an exciting finish for Marsha, Marsha Morton and Michael Kane, the coaches of the Folly Middle School boys and girls. Now the Owls won't have another homie though until January the 14th when they will host the Lakers of Lake City. And don't forget you can catch all the schedules on CougarsRock.net in case you need that information. This Friday the Blue Devils will be at home against the Indians of Oneida. The Indians are a very formidable team, especially with Austin Hunley on the shelf for the Blue Devils. Justin Bolin and the gang will have to hold down the fort until Austin comes back. You can join Jim Freeman on the call this Friday at 1450WLF.com, and that is the WLF Sports Network. The Campbell County Youth Basketball League will go back to work this Friday with regular league play. You might want to call the rec center, though, to make sure who plays who and when. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Thanks for watching my papa on WLAS. Tuesday, January the 8th, the Cougars are back in action at Carnes. We haven't played that well this year. We win one, we lose one. There's no consistency on either the boys or girls team, either one. The usual names we thought would step up haven't stepped up and done it in a consistent manner this year. But don't forget you can catch the game on the WLF Sports Network with the voice of the Cougars himself, Mr. Adam Smith. There's going to be a new basketball league start up at Jacksboro Middle School. Sign-ups will be January the 12th. From 10 to 2, and for more information, you can call 423-494-5927. Now, the cost will be $25 per child or player, and they will range from kindergarten all the way up to high school age. Now, then, we want to tell you, the kindergartners won't be playing the high school kids. <laughs> also, this Friday, the Eagles will travel to play all night. Coach Cody Parker is still looking for that outside go-to guy, and according to the coach, we ain't there yet. Now, the Eagles won't play their next homie until they host Horse Maynard, and that game will be on January the 10th. There again, you can go to CougarsRock.net and catch all the schedules of all the middle school teams. Okay, that's a real quick look at today's sports report. I want to remind you to follow the Cougars and the Blue Devils right here on the WLF Sports Network at 1450WLAF.com. You will love that website. Just go there. Hey, and we want to tell you too, stay tuned. There's lots more to come right here on WLAF.